So I'm going to show you how to rapidly create and deploy a chart in Streamlit and how easy it is. In this case, I'm going to show you how to deploy line charts. So the first step um, I'm going to show you is uh, this is Streamlit. It's a rapid um, data app, data web app development environment. And to get signed in, I mean, you just sign in. And as you can see, once you sign in, in order to create a new app, you're going to need a GitHub repo. So to quickly create this shareable web app and get this GitHub repo, you can use the GitHub CLI to quickly create a GitHub re repo. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, so first, you're going to want to just install the GitHub CLI, and there's a, um, a website that has CLI. You can easily download that from Windows or Mac or whatever operating system you have. Um, and there's quite a few features with that. So yeah, I highly recommend checking that out. Um, so in order to create the um, rapidly create this GitHub repository, your GitHub repo create and create a repository, new repository on GitHub from scratch, repository, demo, find charts, and I'm just gonna select yes, it's public, uh, get ignore. Um, Python license yes MIT and take the look at the line charts so it's going to create this in GitHub you see how easy that is you don't need um, to create and then I'm going to clone this locally and so now I have a GitHub repo and the GitHub repo is also in I mean, the, the a Git repo and GitHub, the Git repo is also in GitHub. Next thing I'm going to do is add requirements txt file for all the libraries I'm going to import to create this um, create this uh, line chart. And I'm just going to pull in Streamlit, Pandas, Altair, and Pandas Data Reader, Data Reader. And this is going to be essential to have a requirements txt or some type of way to pull in the, the dependencies once you deploy it to Streamlit. Okay, so I'm going to then create a streamlit.api file. Streamlit, a streamlit app file. Um, and, and just import Streamlit as st uh, right and that's going to show you how to do this. so that's going to get Streamlit and then I'm going to add these files that uh, are created locally um, oops uh, stream Analog directory of Streamlit. So git add star. I had to change directory to get the into the GitHub repo. Um, that's why there's that above yellow message. It says hint. Um, so now I'm going to commit it. Close initial commit. Um, and get push and now it's going to be pushed um, actually now, now first I'll test it to make sure it's running before I look at it um, so here I can yeah so hello world is working now since I escape out of this So 
that up or something. Let's see. Hmm. Well, this is locked up for some reason. I'm just gonna go back in there. Okay, now I'm going to, um, so I pushed it, now I'm going to show you how to access it on Streamlit. So now that it's pushed, you can say set up from existing repo, and I'm going to select what I just created, the demo line charts, and then deploy it. And you should be able to see it on a uh, web app. Well, it's running. I'm going to go work on creating a. It's going to take a while to spin up, spin up memory processes, provision machine, preparing systems, spinning up memory processes, yeah, inflating the list. Um, so I'm going to, let's see, now I'm going to create the line chart. In order to create the line chart, um, I'm going to go from uh, article that I've created on thinkster.com and I'm going to pull in this line chart code that shows a multi um, Multi-page line chart. Let's see here it is. Or multi-line line chart. And here it is. And from here I'm going to import the whole thing. I'm going to format the document to show um, to make sure it's in a good Python format. Okay. Now, from here, I'm going to run it and show you what this chart looks like. Um, and I'll show you this real quick. As you can see, that the, the Hello World, it takes a while to publish, but the Hello World that was created in that previous web app is right there. So it's been successfully created and pushed, and there's a GitHub repo, and so everything's worked. Everything has worked. Um, and I'll show you that GitHub and repo in a second, just so you can see that the CLI um, works. And you can see this is the GitHub repo, repo that I created from the CLI, the GitHub CLI. Um, so now I'm going to go about creating the line chart. And for this line chart, it's a multi-line chart that has data frames for each one of these stock symbols. What it's going to show is stocks, and it has this is what creates the line chart, the mark line. Um, all these data frames that it's getting for each stock symbol are created in a get stock combined function that gets each stock from this data reader. Um, library that has stock data and so it's going to get all these stocks and from what the start date to an end date and it's going to yeah it's going to use the full name of the stock that's passed in through this dictionary for for grouping the data into different lines and then it's going to have properties for this for the title, um, font size for the title, and then access size. So access uh, font size and label size. So stream up run. So now when I'm running this, you can see it's running in all these different sports. Now you can see that chart. So the chart ran, it's it's up, and it works.
and then now to push it now to um, add it and then see it on the web website which is the kind of the whole point of streamlit you can get add commits line charts and get push added committed pushed now it should be now there's a listener here and it just grabbed the chart so as you can see it's so how easy it is to rapidly create um, github repos and publish uh, a line chart and it can be done very quickly in about 10 minutes so yeah so i hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learn something new like I did when I was creating it and yeah I hope you can uh, use uh, Streamlit to uh, create su success in uh, creating charts. Alright, bye.